Hello everyone, welcome to Beginner's Guide. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create this auto typing content in your website. Actually, this tutorial is just meant for you to learn how to create this auto typing text. But apart from this auto typing, this website has got some cool features such as when I hover on this particular image, I'm sure that you can able to see some nice animation. Even when I hover on this menu items, there is some nice animation with the border bottom. I'm not going to focus on these animations things because I have already created a tutorial for the same how to create this menu item with this border bottom, uh, how to make these animations when I hover on this image. Everything else has been already taught step by step. If you wanted to watch that video, I would include the link in the description so that you go and watch that video in case if you wanted to know how these things has been done. But the major focus on this particular tutorial is to learn how to create this automatic typing in our website. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open my text editor here. I already have the code. So let me just open this one so that you will see what is in there. So as you can see them there, this animation is already there. As I say that I have the tutorial, you will find the link in the description. Uh, even when I hover on the menu items, everything else is there. So the only thing that is missing them here is the heading as well as the auto typing content is not there in this website. So this is what I'm going to teach you how to do that. So what I'm going to do, so before this paragraph, I need to include the heading. So let me go to my HTML. So here is the HTML. The other details are already there. So now what do I need to do? Here is my paragraph and I have two buttons here. So before this paragraph, I'm going to create the H1 tag. Here I'm going to say um, Nancy. When I save this one, let me go and refresh my browser so that you will see what will happen. So here you can see I'm Nancy. But what I wanted to do them here is I don't want these contents to be displayed as Nancy. I want to change this content after a specified period of time. Maybe let's say after one second, I want this content to be changed to I am a web developer or a graphic designer. It can be anything. So this is exactly what we are going to do. In order to do that, all you need to do is go to your browser, type something called typed.js. So go to the first link. This is a GitHub link. Go there and then come all the way down there. I hope you can able to see this CDN. Copy this CDN. Come back to your code and paste them into your head section. So after the style sheet, I'm going to paste the link that I have copied. I hope it's clear, right? Again, the next step that you're going to do them here is go back to the next link. So in this first link, we copy the CDN. Now we are going to the second link. So in this particular link, just scroll down and copy this code. Now open your text editor. That particular code is a JavaScript. So what you need to do, I hope you know how to use the JavaScript into your website. Let's say after the div section, I'm going to create a script tag. So within the script tag, I'm going to paste that code. So let me just change it to script. Now I've copied, then I'll paste them here. So this variable type is a method that is coming from the typed JS. Inside it takes two parameters. First one is the name of the class. The class name is element. It's not necessarily be an element. It can be anything. A, B, C, X, Y, Z, or 1, 2, 3. It can be anything. Just that you have to know this is a class name because there is a dot in friend. Followed by, it will take another parameter that is a set of strings. So this first sentence will be the first string. Second sentence will be the second string. So what does that mean, this type speed? So this is a one which determines the typing speed in forward direction. So let's say I wanted to have the typing in backward direction as well. So for that, I'm going to use something called back speed. And then let's say 30. So the type speed would determine the typing speed of a text in a forward direction. Back speed would determine the typing speed of the text in a backward direction. And then let me just save and go there to my website to see if there is anything happening at this moment. So when I refresh this one, 
nothing is happening isn't it so the reason why there is nothing here is i have passed the parameter here as an element this element is a class name so what i'm going to do i'm going to my head section i want to to see this i am as a static text but this one i don't want to see them as nancy i wanted to display the different content isn't it so every time maybe every after 30 seconds or maybe every after one second i want to change that particular content from nancy to web developer or something else for that i'm going to create a tag name called span so within this span i'm going to pass this class name that i have so for the span tag i'm going to say class so the class name has to be same name as this so in this case element is my class name let me save let me go there and refresh at this moment there is nothing there why there is nothing there the reason is simple let me go there i had put dot in front of this element because it's already a class so there is no need for you to say a dot go there and refresh so you can see them there first sentence second sentence and then that's it it has ended there so what does that mean it is failing to take us back to the first sentence isn't it so for that what do we need to do here we are going to set the condition after the back speed i'm going to say loop is going to be true what does that mean so that that particular auto typing will be continuously repeating the same steps so when i save this one let me go there and refresh now you will see first sentence second sentence again it will be a first sentence the loop is repeating just because i have said the loop is equal to true the next thing is simply you can change the sentences here so here you can type the name let's say and then if you wanted to add another one just separate them with a comma so let me just copy and paste them here so here i'm going to say maybe youtuber so when i save this one let's go there and refresh so now i'm nancy web development a youtuber so it's not a web development let's say web developer as you can see them there everything is working as expected but if you feel like this auto typing is too fast maybe i wanted to be doing it a bit slower than the way it so in that case you can just increase this type speed let's say now i'm going to say 100 even this one will be 100 now you will see the difference the auto typing will take bit of time to type each character i hope you can able to see the difference uh i hope now you have learned how to create this auto typing content in your website if you like this video do not forget to hit the like button if you have not subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe. Thank you so much.